Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask. It is Monday. It is the 27th day of June. Today is National Ice Cream Cake Day. Oh, man, those are yummy. Uh, it's also National Onion Day, National Orange Blossom Day, National Sunglasses Day, National PTSD Awareness Day, and National HIV Testing Day. So all of those things happening on this Monday. And I've got a guest joining me today as well. He's been in a bunch of movies, and he's been in uh, several TV shows as well. And also, uh, I guess he kind of got a start on the on the stage, Barry Bostwick. And he's got a new movie, not a new movie, a new book about Greece. It's called Greece. Tell me more. Tell me more. And uh, he was on the stage production of Greece. And I got a list here of a bunch of people who were in that stage production that went on to become household names. And there's one that was that tried out and didn't get the job. You know who it was? Who? Tom Hanks. He got really? passed up to be Danny in uh, Greece. Oh, the good news is wow. it worked out for him. He he's, bounced back. He's done okay. But we're going to chat with Barry Bostwick all about that and much, much more coming up. What can I say that I haven't already said about BetterCreditCards.com? It's a website. You go there to get a better credit card. Okay, that's really probably all I need to say for most of you, but I still have time left. So how about this? At BetterCreditCards.com, we have different kinds of credit cards, some with better points and perks, some designed to help you build your credit. Whatever stage of life you happen to be in, we want to help. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. You start to plan for your next family vacation? Well, get busy, according to this. Vacations are more enjoyable for the whole family when they are well-planned. According to a new survey of over 2,000 American parents, they found when preparing for vacations, one in four say they are the planners of the family. They're the ones who keep everyone on track. My wife over here is nodding her head right now. Yeah. They're the ones that keep everybody organized. Meanwhile, others name their partner or co-partner as an agent of chaos who's always seeming to cause trouble. That's me. Uh, they say they're always running late. Also me. <laughs> the poll uh, was put together by Chase IGH Rewards Credit Cards. They found 76% of families are able to plan out their entire itinerary within six hours over the span of a few days. So they a little time here, a little time there. Uh, six in 10 uh, families start planning at least five weeks in advance. On the other hand, 28% are still frantically getting ready at the very last minute. More than half, by the way, have not had a vacation in three years, but 70% are saying we're going to do one in the next 18 months. So, all right. I like that. Vacations are fun because I don't do any of the planning. <laughs> Vacations are fun. I don't fun. do any of the planning. Heidi does it all. <laughs> <laughs> All right, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Are you looking for an energy drink that's natural, lasts longer, has no dyes, no artificial flavorings, and no sugar? Blitz Energy Drink is the answer. With only 10 calories per serving and 200 milligrams of caffeine, our formula will help increase your focus, endurance, mood, and energy levels. Order now at DrinkBlitzEnergy.com. Use promo code RADIO20 to save 20% and get free shipping on any canister. DrinkBlitzEnergy.com. Dot com. Promo code RADIO20. That's drinkblitzenergy.com. Did you know? Brought to you by radiotravelgroup.com. Heidi, did you know? Is better balance the key to a longer life? Middle-aged people who can't stand on one leg for 10 seconds are nearly twice as likely to die within a decade, according to new research. We so, should start doing that then. Do Just that every balancing. day? Start some yoga. Uh, yeah. What are you doing? Just my one-legged yoga? <laughs> As I'm eating ribs. <laughs> All right. Unlike aerobic fitness, muscle strength and flexibility and balance tend to stay relatively steady until somebody reaches their 50s. Then it wanes rapidly. Scientists in Brazil say that balance tests should become part of a routine health check for older adults. Because they're going, hey, if you can stand on one leg for 10 seconds, you're twice as likely to not die within the next decade. So, And isn't that a nice yeah, goal? That really is a nice goal. All right. We don't know everything, but now we know this. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. John and Heidi. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. Fans of Jeopardy are buzzing on Twitter about a potential new host. I thought we just had a new host. Right, so did Tournament I. of Champions winner Buzzy Cohen caused a stir 
when he shared a cryptic tweet that had many people believing he will be hosting the game show. So I don't know. Maybe he's not hosting. I'm not sure. I'm going to just move on because, Heidi, I learned when I don't know anything about something, I it's shouldn't talk about it. It's best to just not talk. Yeah. But if that were the case, I'd be pretty quiet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it looks like Top Gun Maverick has enough jet fuel to hit the one billion mark. Tom Cruise's latest blockbuster has crossed the $900 million mark already in the first 25 days of its release, and they're pretty sure it's going to make it past a billion. It'll make that Cruise's biggest movie to date. So All righty. There we go. That's that's pretty cool. I've not seen it yet, and I've had several people who, uh, who've seen yeah, it that I, loved it. It so sounds amazing. So one like of these days, amazing. I'm going to take this gorgeous woman sitting next to me on a date, and we'll check it out. Then, <laughs> then we'll report back and tell you what we find. All right, that is Big Screen, Little Screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. Join us in October for The Sands, a week of music and fun that's been described as the best week ever by many guests. This year, we have more icons and more fun. Loverboy, Belinda Carlisle, Lou Graham, Vanilla Ice, Samantha Fox, Firehouse, and many more already on the schedule. Plus, more announcements coming soon. Plan to join us October 25th through the 30th at Planet Hollywood Beach Resort Cancun. This all inclusive event will be the time of your life. Learn more now at radiotravelgroup.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of bettercreditcards.com. This was actually sent to me for the list, but I'm going to use it here because uh, I have a little more time here than I do during the list. Longest running TV shows that are still on the air. So I guess I hadn't thought about this, but uh, there are the some Simpsons shows. Simpsons is one for sure. Yeah, actually that's it's fairly new on the list. Uh, it's only 32 years old, Heidi. That is the that's one. That's fairly new. That's the newest one on this list. So, uh, The Simpsons debuted in 1989, making them 32 years old. Huh. The Bold and the Beautiful is 35 years old. Jeopardy is 37 years old. Saturday Night Live debuted October 11, 1975, so they're 46 years old. Wheel of Fortune, 47 years old. Young and the Restless is 49 years old. The Price is Right, 49 years old. Uh, Masterpiece Theater debuted in uh, 1971, makes it 50 years old on PBS. Sesame wow. Street is 52 years old. Days of Our Lives debuted in oh, 1965. I wasn't even thinking about that. Yeah, yeah. 56 years old. Any okay. idea what the oldest television show on air that's still on air happens to be? These are the shows in the United States, by the way. I have no t- no clue. General Hospital. Okay. Yeah. They, by the way, debuted April 1st, 1963, 59 years ago. Okay. Yeah. So General Hospital, Days of Our Lives. What was the other one? Young and the Restless that's on the list. Bold and the Beautiful. All of those shows have been on forever. And there's several game shows that have been on forever. And Heidi mentioned The Simpsons. And like I said, that's the newest one on this list, which is not new by any means. Right. But 32 years. Uh, and, and the thing that's funny, when they very first started, they didn't know how that was going to go. So the creator, Matt Groening, is that how you say it? Groening? Um, uh, he gave Something Fox like all the rights to the merchandise. Wouldn't that, so, be, yeah. wouldn't that just make you sick? Oh, yeah. So he's got no rights to those characters like the merchandise. Uh, anyway, it was going to be the list, but I wanted to get it all in. So here it is. That's your scoop of the day. Comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Are you ready to enjoy a little slice of paradise? Check out this beautiful family-owned, professionally managed vacation rental in sunny Poipu, Kauai, Hawaii. Our family stayed recently and we absolutely loved it. The area is so beautiful and the vacation rental has room for up to six guests. Why stay in hotel rooms when you can all enjoy your own area in a vacation rental? Visit Hawaii and make your trip to this tropical paradise one to remember. Learn more at radiotravelgroup.com. That's radiotravelgroup.com. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Movie Star Monday. Our guest, Barry Bostwick, has been in a ton of movies and other projects. He was also in Greece, and there's a new book out about Greece. Barry, how are you? I'm doing great. You know, for an old greaser, I'm still around. (laughs) And when you think about Greece, everybody listening has probably either seen the movie or seen it on a stage. And now there's this new book out. It's called Greece. Tell me more. Tell me more. And... Right now, I'd like to ask Barry to tell me more. Yeah, oh, that, yeah, tell me more, tell me more. Tom Moore wrote it. He was our director. He and Adrian Barbeau and Ken Weissman, the original producer of it, uh, they had this idea. The idea was, hey, you know, it's our 15th anniversary. Let's do something special that um, maybe nobody's ever done before. And that is get everybody who's been involved in Greece whether it's a musician or a designer or a stage manager, and talk about their 
uh, relationship and experiences with priests. And for and so for all the eight years, it was on Broadway for the first uh, group, and all the eight years that it was on the road, they contacted everybody they could and got these wonderful, amusing, uh, moving stories of how it affected their lives and how the 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 musical itself was born and uh, it if you're a student of the theater uh either as a as a creator uh, or as an actor uh, it, it, it's a, it's a must read because it just lays the whole thing out it's, it's the genesis of of this musical is so interesting because it wasn't it wasn't a hit when it first opened and uh, because of the foresight of the producers and uh, uh, and of the uh, and of the energy of the original cast, I think uh, it just slowly crept into the zeitgeist of of the audiences, and then people then start coming back, seeing it over and over and over again, and it just reminded them of their childhood, their high school experience, um, because every character in Greece. Uh, is relatable to some, probably everybody in the audience. Uh, you know, whether it's the good girl, the bad girl, the good guy, the bad guy. Uh, it was, um, I, I think, and if you're of my age, you were at one point in your high school experience, uh, a greaser or uh, a gang member uh, threatened you in some way. And something I learned by looking at this book, there's a ton of very famous people who we know for other great projects. They got their start, like you did, in Greece. Yeah, they did. And, you know, because they, the, Greece was a great training ground for teaching you how to stay present and uh, uh, show up uh, and, and have the energy to do uh, eight shows a week. And when you get into other parts of our industry, um, if you have chops that were, you know, uh, uh, made by going through the fire of Greece, uh, you you could pretty much put up with anything because Greece was a very difficult show to do. It was it was a dance show, and none of them really knew how to dance, but if but they. It, and it was an actor show. First of all, you 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 had to be a really good actor, uh, and 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 character based actor, uh, and then uh, you had to dance your heart out and sing your heart out. Everybody in the show had their moment, uh, whether it was a song or or uh, yeah. And so you learn so much from doing Greece. You learn not only how to do a show. Uh, but you learned uh, how to work with an audience and, uh, and, and to keep the style and the size of your performance um, uh, consistent for however long you're in the show, which is something that a lot of actors don't have that opportunity to have. You know, they'll do a weekend, two weeks, a month maybe, but if you're in a show for over a year, it's a, it's a whole different experience. And we can read all about that in the brand new book that's out right now. Great. Tell me more. Tell me more. It's available right now. Barry, have a wonderful day, sir. And you too. Thanks so much for talking to me. Absolutely. Again, the book, Tell Me More, Tell Me More. It's available right now. I've got a link to it in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. What can I say that I haven't already said about bettercreditcards.com? It's a website. You go there to get a better credit card. Okay, that's really probably all I need to say for most of you, but I still have time left, so how about this? At bettercreditcards.com, we have different kinds of credit cards, some with better points and perks, some designed to help you build your credit. Whatever stage of life you happen to be in, we want to help. Give yourself a little credit. Bettercreditcards.com. That's bettercreditcards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The front of a giraffe's tongue is dark purple to protect it from sunburn while eating. Really? I didn't know that. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Annually, there are about 60,000 trampoline injuries just in the United States and about 150 dustpan injuries. Wow. I don't know how that works exactly. Uh, Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? 
Despite accounting for 2% of our body mass, the brain uses 20% of our oxygen and our blood supply. Okay. So it's only 2% of your mass, but uses a lot of oxygen and blood supply. So that's good. That I guess. is good. Good that it's getting what it needs. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The fingernails on your dominant hand grow faster than the fingernails on your non-dominant hand. Really? Yeah, we don't even know why. It's kind of weird. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Your voice tires more quickly from whispering than it does from speaking in a normal tone. I could see that. Yeah, I've, I actually knew that. I've, I've strained my voice trying to whisper. Heidi said I don't know how to whisper, You by don't the way. know how to whisper. <laughs> Apparently I do. <laughs> All right. Several things that we didn't know before, but now we do. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Are you looking for an energy drink that's natural, lasts longer, has no dyes, no artificial flavorings, and no sugar? Blitz Energy Drink is the answer. With only 10 calories per serving and 200 milligrams of caffeine, our formula will help increase your focus, endurance, mood, and energy levels. Order now at drinkblitzenergy.com. Use promo code RADIO20 to save 20% and get free shipping on any canister. Drinkblitzenergy.com. Promo code RADIO20. That's drinkblitzenergy.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile question of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of mintervention.com. Uh, question today, Heidi. Stats show that you do this less at age 40 than at any other time in your life. I don't know if I agree with this one. Less yeah. at age 40. At age 40, you do this less than at any other time in your life. Again, I don't know. I don't know. Sleep. Yeah, stats show that you sleep less when you're 40 years old than you do at any other time in your life. And I suppose that's because, you know, you've got other things to deal with, kids, whatever. But for me, I don't know if that's accurate. Okay. <laughs> I'm saying whatever age I am right now is probably the, the, the what, how old am I? <laughs> in your 40s. Am I? It says age 40, though. Mint Mobile question of the day comes your way courtesy of Mintervention.com. Join us in October for The Sands, a week of music and fun that's been described as the best week ever by many guests. This year, we have more icons and more fun. Loverboy, Belinda Carlisle, Lou Graham, Vanilla Ice, Samantha Fox, Firehouse, and many more already on the schedule. Plus, more announcements coming soon. Plan to join us October 25th through the 30th at Planet Hollywood Beach Resort Cancun. This all-inclusive event will be the time of your life. Learn more now at radiotravelgroup.com. Time now for some weird news brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. These days, some people don't have very nice things to say about Amber Heard, but nobody can deny her beauty. Science, science rather, says her face is almost perfect, according to the so-called golden ratio. Yeah, I saw that. First described by the ancient Greeks, the golden ratio refers to a formula of proportions that supposedly identifies most, ma- most mathematically perfect visage. British cosmetic surgeon Dr. Julian De Silva says that by using digital facial mapping technology, he was able to determine that Heard's face is exactly 91.85% perfect. That's almost as good as it gets. Bella Hadid scored the highest of all well-known beauties, 94.35, followed by Beyonce, Amber Heard, and and Ariana Grande. So those are the most beautiful women on the planet, according to this little golden ratio. What do you think, Heidi? Do you agree? I do not, Um, but... you know yeah. who I think is the most beautiful woman on the planet? Uh, yes, I do. Heidi Small, <laughs> my gorgeous wife, sitting right here with me. Wow. That's you, by the way. Yes. Right. I, Weird news. Yes, thank you. Brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. John and Heidi. Time now for the list. It is brought to you by bettercreditcards.com. Heidi, the list today are the top 10 most expensive places to live in North America. So uh, according to a comparison of the average cost of eight common necessities, things like theater tickets, that's not a necessity, restaurant at a, me- <laughs> a, a meal at a restaurant, a bottle of water, a cappuccino, a gym membership, a transit ticket, and a month of rent, one month rent. So number 10, Montreal, Quebec. Number two, Ottawa, Ontario. Number eight is, uh, I'm sorry, I said number two. It was number 10, then number nine. Number eight is Chicago, Illinois. Uh, number seven, San Diego, California. Number six, Los Angeles, California. Number five, Toronto, Ontario. Number four, Hamilton, Ontario. Number three, Vancouver, British Columbia. Number two, Mississauga, Ontario. And the number one most expensive place to live in North America is, any guess, Heidi? I have no idea. Oh, wrong. New York, New York. The most expensive place to live in North America, according to the list. You can find that list, by the way, in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. 
Are you ready to enjoy a little slice of paradise? Check out this beautiful family-owned, professionally managed vacation rental in sunny Poipu, Kauai, Hawaii. Our family stayed recently and we absolutely loved it. The area is so beautiful and the vacation rental has room for up to six guests. Why stay in hotel rooms when you can all enjoy your own area in a vacation rental? Visit Hawaii and make your trip to this tropical paradise one to remember. Learn more at radiotravelgroup.com. That's radiotravelgroup.com. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Quote today is from a guy by the name of Albert Einstein. You've heard of him, right? I have heard of him once or twice. Yeah, it's a good, good, smart fella. Here's the quote for today. Women marry men hoping they will change. Men marry women hoping they will not. So each <laughs> is inevitably disappointed. Aww, <laughs> that's so sad. It is sad, but you know what? It's also kind of true, wouldn't you say? A little bit. Didn't you marry me hoping I would change? <laughs> Did I change? <laughs> no comment. Okay. <laughs> Same here. Quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news. And I think this is good news. Comes your way courtesy of radiotravelgroup.com. Here's a headline. Take a listen to this, Heidi. Teen hero dives into water, saving a woman trapped in a sinking car. How Whoa. awesome A lot is of stuff that? going on. Yeah. 17-year-old from Long Island, New York, being hailed as a hero. Hero, Heidi. I think this is just a really cool story. Surveillance captured the dramatic rescue of an 18-year-old after she drove her car into the bay. She had accidentally pressed the gas instead of the brakes. Uh, and it says here, 17-year-old... Anthony Zogor, I hope is how you say his name, uh, he dove into the water. This is about 10 p.m., by the way, on Tuesday, to pull this young lady from her SUV. Wow. He said, I just heard a huge splash and everybody running toward the dock. Wow. He said, a group of onlookers could hear a young woman struggling to get out of the vehicle. That's when he dove in. He said, that really made me jump in the water because she was banging on the door trying to break it, kind of scared. So I jumped in. He was able to open the driver's side door of the Subaru and help her out of the vehicle and assist her to safety on the dock. The real hero of the day is Anthony, without a doubt. There were a group of people on the dock. They were filming it. He did something about it. I can't. I, yeah. that, that sort of thing drives me nuts. Yeah. The woman's father, Charlie, said all of that, by the way. She's here today because of him. A car can be replaced. Things can be replaced. Yeah. My daughter, irreplaceable. Yeah. So if you see something like that happening, if there's any way at all that you can help. If you can help, help. help. And I yeah. understand there's some people who are like, I can't swim. Or I can't, you know, if there's a reason, I understand sure. that. But don't stand around filming it. Call for help or do something. Do something. That's so exactly I think right. uh, hats off to this teen, again, uh, 17 year old Long Island boy who, a uh, Long Island young man, we're going to say. Uh, who dove in and uh, saved this young lady. I think that's amazing. That's insane. You know what would be really cool? What's that? If these two end up together. Wouldn't, wouldn't that be cool? That would be really cool. I have no idea if either of them are dating anybody. I don't know <laughs> any of that. But I just think that would be, that would be quite, even cooler. Quite Ta- the story. It really would. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you for listening to The John and Heidi Show.